Boogity, boogity. Let's go race it, boys. New leader is Kyle Busch going off into turn number three. He took the lead from teammate Denny Hamlin, putting the Gibbs Toyotas 1-2 with Eric Almirola third in his Ford. Yes, it is St. Patrick's Day. Kyle Busch takes advantage. Absolutely. You can see the three and the 17 side by side. They stall out, and that opens up the door for the 18 of Kyle Busch to take advantage of those two, get the momentum, use the draft, and go three wide past both of them. And, you know, what I was going to say is that Kyle Busch is loving this right now because he has a lot of these cars a lap down. As this run goes on, those fresher tires are going to start eating into his lead so he can only stay out there for so long. Matt? Great runs. Great run so far by the 18 of Kyle Busch. You can see easy into his pit box. No chassis adjustments on the 18. Solid on the right side. Cam Waugh and Jeff Cordero going to work on the left. Lugs on and he's away. Great stop and a great dive. That crew gets it done every week. Six to go in stage number one. Kyle Busch leading Denny Hamlin, who's closed it down to 1.8 seconds. Now we saw Ty Dillon. He cut a tire, drifted up near the wall, waiting for a gap to get down on pit road. Apparently he did not hit the wall, but there he is right in front of the oh, leader. Yeah. Whoa! Wow. Just when everything is going along perfect and smooth, something like that happens. And the leader will pit with just four laps to go in stage one, and a whole bunch coming with him. Crash, turn two. Big trouble. Ricky Stenhouse. Oh, that's not going to make his day any better than the one he was having right there before that restart. Caution waves, and we will finish stage one under yellow. I am curious. Some guys really struggling with the track conditions and handling today. Things seem to be going well for you. How are you finding it? Uh, it's definitely different than what it was yesterday, so I think maybe that kind of threw a few guys for a loop. Uh, our car was pretty well balanced yesterday, feels pretty good today, so overall the Interstate Battery Camry uh, feels good, so, you know, I think we had this, kind of this conversation last week, but it'd be nice to uh, keep the view the way it is and race this thing out and see what happens at the end. Rush hour. Slow down, coming to you near on the high side. One back on the high side. No clear by one, all the way. Clear by one to the bottom of the 48. Those spotters are working so hard today. You watch Kyle Busch, he'll get a drill. He'll try to get a little draft off of the 22 at Logano, but Logano's car is looking pretty steamy yes, on turn two is. over there. He's got that short run speed that we yep. talked about. And, and, you know, I, I think a lot of these teams, as Amarola goes to second, going by Kyle Busch. We saw Kyle fade a little bit on the initial start and then came back. He does have that long run speed. I'm curious to see what these adjustments of these others are going to do for them. Joey Logano in that 22 trying to hold off Kyle Busch right now for the lead as they go side by side. And Joey said, I need to be freer on the restarts because I got swallowed up last time. That was the adjustment they made. You can see he's uh, slipped back to second behind Kyle. For the third time in his career, Kyle Busch is going to see that green and white checkered flag twice as he sweeps stages one and two here. Adam Stevens reminded Kyle Busch to go a little bit easier to the box. He slid it in the last few stops. He said that the car needs to be a little bit tighter at the beginning of the run. Air pressure change, and he's away, Vince. Well, we've only seen, I think, one car that has anything for Kyle Busch at this stage of the race. Ho, oh, hold the phone. Kyle Busch, too fast on pit road. Wow. Exiting. Wow. 
Plenty, plenty of laps left here, man. A lot of the guys on the tail end of the lead lap are hurt. We'll get back up in the top 10 here in a handful of laps, get a couple late cautions, and back right back in it. If there's any car and any driver that can get back up there, it's us. Got to pace ourselves. Can't do it with a broke car. Kyle Busch is going to restart. It looks like 17th back there with Denny Hamlin. Clear about two. Whatever you need here. Your four ride. Four ride. Good top seven. All in there. 24 on the bottom. Clear to low. Good. 18 to half back on the Four bottom. Four bottom. Four bottom. Three bottom. Wow, did you see that move by yes. Kyle Busch? I yes. did. I was pointing right at it. So only four drivers have yet to stop among the lead lap cars. Kyle Busch, Chris Buescher, Matt Benedetto, Ricky Stenhouse. Well, what's going to be really interesting here is prior to that sequence, Kyle Busch was about 8.62 seconds back to our leader, Brad Keselowski. Now Brad and all those other leaders that were ahead of Kyle Busch, they're on fresh tires. So how long do you stay out there, Larry? Yeah, I think, Jeff, they've made their bed. They have to lay in it now. They've got to run this thing as far as they can, which is probably another six to eight laps. And this may bring the caution that Kyle Busch needs. If he gets wow. a caution, he's going to bring everybody to pit road, but they've got to run it out. Bubba Wallace in trouble now. The caution would fly if he puts debris out oh, on the every, racetrack. Yeah, there's debris everywhere. And yellow, there it is. Yellow. Caution is out. Stay ahead of him. Talk about the luck of the Irish. <laughs> I was worried about that after he got that speeding penalty, but I feel better about it now. He smoked it into his box. They're already over on the left side, Mike. Big dilemma between Kyle and Adam Steves. A little bit of trouble on the left front getting the lugs there by Cam Wall. Just how much to adjust this 18 car because of where he'll be in traffic. He knows it needs to turn better, but he was worried about being so far back in dirty air. Be 31 laps to go as they take the green flag for the restart. Ryan Blaney's teammates not doing him any favors, giving a huge shove to Kyle Busch to take over that lead. But look at this move by Keselowski yeah. to the quarter panel of the 18. He gave Busch a shove to create some clean air on the outside. They're going to they're going to team up on it here. You got the two, the 22, and the 12 right back here. Kyle's going to have his hands full with these guys. Big move by the four. Getting in a big shove from the 11 of Denny Hamlin to get to the rear bumper. The 22 going to the outside. Three wide. Boy, I haven't seen Kyle Busch on that apron all day long. He's been rim riding most of the day, but that, that we was have, where he went that time. Roger eight. Penske has long said no team orders. Just don't Yikes. take each other out. Well, well, they're they're working on both of those things. Better get on it. Better get on that radio, Junior. <laughs> Roger, uh, they get a little close. And Kyle Busch is coming fast while these two are running side by side. Boy, really nice job, Joey Logano battling, fighting that side draft, the two Whoa. Keselowski. Now here comes Kyle Busch diving to the bottom. Kyle Busch, he's, it could all be over, boys. Man, he's going to clear Logano. <laughs> it could all be over. Unreal. That just shows you how good that race car is. Yeah, it took him a lap or two to get his tires a little better, air pressure fell on the tire, but once he did, he took off. Coming to the white flag. One lap to go, sponsored by Credit One Bank for Kyle Busch, 2.4 ahead of Joey Logano. So you got the white flag. Now all you want to do is see, see clear sailing in front of you, no lap cars, keep it out of the wall, make sure nothing else goes wrong, no vibrations. And you got a two and a half second lead. Use it. <laughs> this might be the slowest lap that Kyle Busch runs all day. It would be for me, I know that. Between three and four, and headed for home. Kyle Busch in his Joe Gibbs Toyota is going to win his 53rd race in the Cup Series and hit his magic number 200 in Southern California. Awesome race car. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. Could you imagine if I could have gotten Vegas and yesterday? How many in a row? How many? It's <laughs> feeling confident. Joey Logano finishes second, 2.3 back. Friday, when I say uh, thanks for letting us be a part of it, man, you are the best. Brad Kozlowski third, four seconds back. Kevin Harvick, nine seconds. And Ryan Blaney, nine seconds back. They're the top five. And Kurt Busch is denied that top five finish. 
He ends up sixth in his Chevrolet. Yeah, but Mike, did you hear that the confidence that that crew has in their driver, uh, Kyle Busch? I mean, just uh, thanking him for letting us be a part of this historic day. And today is a historic day, any way you want to look at it. He may not yet be the best of all time, but he is the best of his time. No doubt about Kyle that. Kyle Busch. You cannot argue how good Kyle Busch is. Joe Gibbs crew has the flag for 200 victories across NASCAR's three national series, Trucks, Xfinity, and the Monster Energy Cup Series. Today's victory was fueled by Sunoco. Sunoco fueling victories all season long. It was never a question of if, only when. And he said it on the radio. I mean, he has been on a heck of a roll, just knocking down wins, whether it be Xfinity, Truck, Cup, I just said it. What if he hadn't had a problem at uh, to Vegas? Could have been. We could be talking about one every race. 53rd Cup victory coming in his 503rd start, second win of the season, and this year's first repeat race winner. To me, though, the one thing that's just undebatable, if you do want to compare him to Richard Petty, is that they both gave themselves more opportunities to win than anybody else. If you look, I mean, he's coming up on his 1,000th exactly. race. Exactly. Right? And Richard Petty, I know, raced over 1,000 times also. But, boy, the, their win percentage is incredible. It's the first time that Kyle will go to victory lane after a speeding penalty. Uh, that happened back at lap 123 of 200. The last driver who won here after getting caught speeding was Casey Kane back in 2006. 160th career win for Joe Gibbs Racing in and, the Cup Series. And, Mike, you know, there was a time when I didn't think I'd ever see anybody win seven championships again. Jimmy Johnson did it. And there was a, definitely a time in my career where I thought nobody will ever win 200 races. I don't care how you do the man. Kyle Busch just did it. And the sport has evolved, which is what makes it so difficult to compare eras. Well, and now I think what we're going to talk about, and you sort of mentioned it and alluded to it, Mike, is that 100 number. As he starts racking up these cup wins like he has the last two weeks, and he mentioned it himself when we interviewed him post-race last week, he talked about, I want to get to 100. Well, if he keeps at it like this, he won, what, eight races last year? Right. This is already two this season. He might get there. Kyle Busch out of the car, raises the flag. Oh, boy. And waves <laughs> it for the fans. Yeah, oh, buddy. There's the signature bow. And I don't think anybody knows how hard it's been to get to this 200 win mark than that guy right there. I mean, he's been behind the wheel, putting his heart and soul into every one of those races. I, I think the thing that impresses me is the three different series, three different rule packs, and three different crew chiefs, three different everything. He still prevails. Vince. 200 NASCAR wins for Kyle Busch. You've finally done it. You've got it over. It's complete. How does 200 feel? <laughs> Feels just like number one. Feels just like yesterday. <laughs> uh, man, that was uh, such an awesome race car. I mean, dang. This Interstate Batteries Camry was awesome today. And um, I'm glad we put on a heck of a show for all these fans out here in California at Auto Club Speedway. And, you know, it takes green to get in victory lane today. Today's St. Patty's Day, come on. So all the rest of them guys were at a disadvantage. I knew that all day long. And uh, this Interstate Batteries green machine was flying today. So um, just awesome, just awesome. And to win 200, I mean, whatever it means, it means a lot to me. It means a lot to all my guys, everybody at Joe Gibbs Racing. You guys are all the best. Toyota TRD, it's, um, it's an amazing opportunity to drive for Joe Gibbs, and I cherish every minute of it. And 
love it always and uh, just wish that just wish that uh, we could keep it going keep it going like this running strong running well and and winning these races you did it congratulations kyle bush number 200 Rowdy Nation will have a lot to celebrate tonight.